Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of a Polo Client in React. So today we are going to set up about the React uh, Polo Client. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So setup is to start the tutorial, do one thing that we have to create a project. Okay, so this is the command to create a React app. So let's go, go for it. So here we are going to add this, my app. So I have creating this one. After that, go to this one and npm start. Done. Okay, it says you need to update the React version to be the latest one. Okay, so let me change to my latest version that is missing. So I'm going to use my latest version. So nvm ls so it's to be like 16 i need to be upgraded we are at 16 16 is last one so i'm going to shift with this one and i'm going to add the 16 version okay copy i'm going to in version okay now uh, let's uh, move it create open the terminal with it and uh, write this code again so it's done let's check nvm or node version node minus v so it's 16 right so let's add this So I think it's done. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to go with CD and go to the my app. Now we have to run npm start. npm start. The project is opened. Okay, first step is done. Let's move to the next step. Install the dependencies. So you need to install this one. Control C, paste this. Sorry. npm install Apollo client and GraphQL. Both we need. Done. What next? And initialize the Apollo client with this import. If you have the index.js, so this is the initialization part in the index.js. If I go with this one app, and here we have a source, we have an index.js file, right? So here we can initialize with this command import this one. Okay, this is the method to import the Apollo client, Apollo client in memory cache, Apollo provider, and the CGL, this GQL, okay, GraphQL, right? And uh, after this installation, we have to initialize the Polo client passing its constructor configuration with the URI and the cache field. So we will set up all this in the later video, right? So this is how we are going to in initialize the Polo client. Okay. So any query, any doubt in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.